Hey, what's happening, YouTube? What's happening, Verbally Vicious Nation? Daryl Horner here, Monday afternoon. If you guys didn't tune into Kevin Kraft's uh, blog TV channel last night to watch the Willie's Loose Cannon Comedy Show, you missed hell of a show. So, uh, if you get the opportunity, uh, find Kevin on Blog TV. We try to air that every 10 p.m. Central on Sunday nights. Uh, last night's headliner, Marvin Howard, was awesome. And uh, there were little uh, troll chatters on Kevin's channel, kind of dogging, you know, the rookie of my comics, and Kevin went on stage. Let's just say it was a classic moment in internet history. Um, he and I combined to just uh, rape the troll tards' faces off. It was really fun. Uh, moving on, let's get into it. We're going to talk about, oh, I, just really two subjects today, and let's get into it. Well, first of all, just off the top, just went over 13,000 subs. Didn't we just do, like we just did a 10,000 sub video? Like, less than a month ago, I think. Uh, so, the page, it's growing. Uh, not really any viral videos, and uh, it's still growing, so I can't thank you guys enough for showing up and listening to me rant and tying in with that. For whatever reason right now, a video I did weeks ago, right before I got suspended, a couple months ago, uh, I believe it's called We're All Dead in 2012. But for whatever reason, it's starting to get hot right now. And the comments coming in, you fucking idiot, you don't know what you're talking about. My uncle was Mayan, he wrote their fucking Bible calendar, fucking me. Uh, take a look around my page, the rest of the cynicism and comedy. Uh, this is not a fucking South American history page, an astrology page, a crock of shit page, a religion page. It's a comedy page. I do things sometimes that are more serious. Um... But you know what I say at the end of each video, so I don't even take myself seriously half the time when I talk shit on here, so fucking take a deep breath and relax, man. It's my anti-drug. It's my buddy, I think it's Chris Shaw's shirt, isn't it? No, it's Jared Dog, great comic out of Chicago, buddy, my shirt. Um, I just think it's great, it's marijuana, my anti-drug, so funny. Anyway, two subjects, let's do it. Number one, um, I'm taking the number 88. It's not fair. It's really not fair. It was my jersey number in so many sports. Uh, it was my favorite number growing up, and I'll explain why in just a second. And fucking skinhead, you know, neo-Nazi, uh, Aryan Brotherhood, uh, whatever group, KKK, so many people, the white power cats, have taken the number 88 and just made it seem so hateful. Well, I'm taking it back, man. I was born on 8-8. I was eight, and that means my birthday is coming up quick. I, uh, I was eight pounds and eight ounces. It was my favorite number. Eight. You're fucking it up, man. If I'm online, if I'm on Xbox Live playing video games and I see somebody's name and it ends in like an 88, I'm like, ah, man, am I playing with some racist fucking idiot? Like, you really have put a stigma on the number 14 and the number 88. Now, it's up to somebody else on here to take 14 back, but I am taking 88 and here's how I'm doing it. You guys know me. I'm a super liberal guy. I want gays and women and everybody, white, black, brown, green, yellow, to all have equal rights. I want everybody to uh, be seen the same in all laws. I want, I want uh, privacy uh, laws lifted to where you know you could, the government doesn't belong in your bedroom or in your behaviors. I'm about as, as far left as it gets in a lot of stuff. So here's what I say from now on. If you do have that 1488 thing up there, just means you support me. Means you support me. And uh, what will your little bitchy cunt of a face hiding racist redneck motherfucking? No, I, there's some rednecks I like. Uh, well, country dudes I like. But you know the people I'm talking about, you skinhead fucking Z Kyle bitches. What are your little friends, your little fucking red lace bitch fucking suspender friends gonna think of you if they think you support me? And from now on, rocking the number 88 means you rock it for Daryl Horner, and you rock it for Verbally Vicious. So welcome aboard. Let's get to the subject at hand and do it quickly. I want your opinion. I want your comments. First of all, rate, comment, subscribe. But I want, if you watch this video, I want your comment and your opinion on this. Now, I'm just going to delete comments that are like, fuck that N-word guy, fuck that da-da-da-da-da. I want sensible, but you're allowed to have your opinion. You guys can argue with each other. Comments. Uh, what do you think about the fact that... uh? Michael Vick has now been freed. 
uh, from his federal charges um, and is now eligible to begin training again and possibly be uh, reinstated into the NFL. Now, obviously my question to you is this. Do you think that's okay? Now, I'm going to go and give you my opinion on the situation. And let me be uh, upfront about this. I think what Michael Vick was involved in and what he did was heinous. It was disgusting. It was horrible. What happened with the dog fighting, what happened uh, with just that whole mentality, that behavior, I think it was fucking horrible. I think he was a horrible human being. I do think it is a situation, even though not forgivable, and that's why he went to jail. I think it was a situation of uh, an environment he was from and him simply just not knowing how appalling that is to the largest percentage of Americans. Uh, it doesn't make it a forgivable thing and an unpunishable thing, but that's my thing here. Michael Vick did go to prison, to federal prison for this. Michael Vick could have punched both the Olsen sisters and Miley Cyrus in the pussy and then kicked Emmanuel Lewis in the face. And they're actual people. And been in less trouble. If he would have come out of a nightclub, Pac-Man Jones style, and shot a nightclub security guard and paralyzed him for life, he probably wouldn't even have gone to jail. And we're talking about humans here. This involved animals, and as I said, appalling. But this involved animals, not humans. We're treating this guy like he crucified Christ himself. And we preach in this country that the whole basis of prison is that you pay the price for a crime, you serve your time, and you be readmitted back into our society. This is how our criminal justice system is supposed to work. But it doesn't sound like to me right now that's how it's working. It sounds like people don't want him to go back to work. It sounds like people want to say you did your time for your crime. Your life is forever altered. You will forever be looked down upon by many people, including myself. I don't want to socialize with the fucking guy. I mean, we all make mistakes. But that was a huge mistake. But I, f I firmly feel, number one, even whether he learned a lesson or not, you got to admit, the guy had to, he had to have learned a lesson from this. And secondly, no more dogs will end up dead due to Michael Vick, which were we not looking for that result. And uh, it was put in the forefront. It was put on the front burn in this country, how or horrible and evil of an act that is. I think that caused a lot of other people to become aware that that kind of shit won't be tolerated here. So in that sense, I feel like he's done his time and he's done his crime. Uh, do I think he's a great human? No. But I think if this judicial system is going to work, this criminal justice system is going to work, we have to honor our end of these deals. And when we say something, we back it up with action. We say in this country, if you pay a price, you serve your time for your punishment, you're welcome back into society. I think we should welcome him back into society. And let him back on a team if they want to pay him and he can play. And really, when you think about it, what's the worst that can happen? If he fucks up and has a bad game, we'll just let another player rape him and drown him in a bucket of water. My name's Daryl Warner. You guys are who you are. I hope you're getting over yourself. Because I get over myself every day. This one's going to get some heat.